when looking up satellite imagery on map websites, some are current and some are not. The map data is usually fairly accurate, but when it comes to the satellite stuff, well, you should know your options, and that's what this video is about. This is Google Maps, and this is a post office right here. But there's a problem. If I go to the satellite view, hmm, it looks like they're operating out of a hole in the ground. Well, that's not true, obviously. They, there's a building here. And even though it says imagery, copyright 2021, Max Art Tech, Geological Survey 2021, everything 2021, at the time I record this, it still shows a big field. I've been here. It's not. It's completely developed. So what do you do? Well, head over to Bing Maps. This is the same location. Let me uh, run back to the map view. So just compare the two. They look a little different, but so you know, it's the same spot. So I'll turn on the satellite view in Google Maps, and I'll turn on the satellite view in Bing by going to Road and then Aerial. Oh, well, look at that. A big old building. That's what it's supposed to be. And now I can see where the entrance is right there. Whereas on Google Maps, well, there's a bush <laughs> and a, a little parking lot that is no longer there. So, yeah. This is why you go over to Bing sometimes. Microsoft does seem to be a little more up to speed when it comes to satellite imagery. So if this matters to you, and to many it does, yes, you should go to bing.com slash maps. Ordinarily, Google Maps does a great job, but sometimes not. So, yeah, know your options. Now, there's, an, there's another one here, though. Zoom.Earth. If you've never used this website, oh, are you in for a treat? And I'm not being sarcastic. This site is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Now, ordinarily, it's used for things like storm tracking, and you can see day-night views and everything. This is an incredible system. Also, another added benefit, it's unintended benefit, excuse me, unintended benefit, is that you can get ridiculously up-to-date satellite imagery. So if you go to zoom.earth and you click the thing up here, the little menu, and make sure to zoom to center by enabling that and also clicking on crosshairs. Right here you can see the crosshair. What happens is that when you use either the zoom buttons here or your mouse wheel on the desktop, it will zoom exactly to the crosshair. And you can go ahead and type in an address right here. That's the address of the post office. And then what I can do is I'm, I'm going to use, uh, actually, I'll use the zoom button since you can't see me use my mouse wheel. I'm going to start zooming. And let's go. Isn't that cool when you can see all the uh, all the lights that are in use? It's crazy. It's nice. That's a storm system right down there. And uh, you can get wind and everything. Anyway, if you want to check it out, go go to zoom.earth. This is, it's it's cool. Believe me. So anyway, zoom, zoom, zoom. If I wait a second, it will actually, it looks blurry right now because it's actually loading the imagery. I'm not going to wait for it though. I'm just going to keep going. So zoom and it changes. So instead of showing this stuff, then it goes to the satellite imagery. It's actually the same stuff that's on Bing Maps, but the color palette is slightly different. I think it looks better. I don't know if you can see this in the video or not when I zoom in tight, but, mm. and also you can switch from Bing to Esri for a different view. How neat. But we'll stay with Bing. So I'm going to zoom, zoom, and it's going right in the location. And oh, there it is. And I, I can also go back. So if I go back to February 2019 here, there's the big hole in the ground, which was on Google Maps, and I show the updated one, there's the building. Now you'll notice that S3 only is available to a certain point. 
Or maybe not. Let me uh, go to S3 and let me zoom in with that. Oh, no. Okay, so I have to pick it when I'm out to uh, about two kilometer. Let me see what this one looks like. I'll see. Okay, yeah, this is the older one. Yep. See, it shows the big hole in the ground. Or the field or whatever. So I'll go back over to Bing and zoom, 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 zoom. Now, it does look identical to Bing, and it essentially it is, but I don't know. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I think the color palette is just slightly tweaked with zoom.earth. Maybe not. It might be exactly the same. I don't know. But we've got some other tools here. We've got measure distance, measure area. We can share this right from here if we want to. I can go to about, and it's going to tell you about all the stuff it does and everything. And now if I zoom back out, because if you you haven't seen this, you, you really got to see this stuff. And I can do a play animation. Watch this. That is cool. This site is, oh, look at that. Just like if you were watching a news report on television. This is great. And then I can do the uh, the wind here. Look at that. That shows all the wind patterns. How cool is this? I mean, I use it for satellite imagery, but you can play with this. And this this is just nice. I'm surprised more people. I I uh, I'm surprised more people don't talk about it. I stumbled across this site by accident. I was searching for something else, and I said, "Well, what's this?" Because it's got a dot earth instead of a dot com or dot org or whatever, but zoom dot earth and whew, this is just nifty. So I can actually zoom in local and see where the wind is. Uh, yeah, this is where all the wind is going right now. I love the light patterns. I love the fact I can go back and uh, switch over and do the animation. Yep, and now it's going to load the images again. Let me do the play animation. And yeah, you can pick the time of when you want to see it. See, right now it's loading it. And then it's going to be smooth as butter. Oh my god, when it's done, that is so nice. That is a big old storm, too. That is big. Also note that when I move it around, now you may not see this on the video, especially if you're watching this on the phone, but way down here, those are the current coordinates of where the crosshair is. It's in degrees, minutes, seconds. And I can I change that? I don't know if I can. I remember, well, Note that the uh, decimal is up here. When it says view equals, you can see the actual decimal degrees up here. But down here, that is uh, degrees, minutes, seconds. Now, if I actually turn the crosshairs off, notice how the numbers change as my, wherever my mouse is, that is the coordinate. But I like it with the crosshairs on, so I get more um, precise. And yeah, there's other stuff here too. You got fires and heat, you got wind, storm tracks, all this other stuff. I know I'm gushing about this website. This is primarily about satellite imagery, but you get so much more with zoom.earth. This is crazy nice. And there is the HD satellite too, which does not have, uh, it's not animated, but whoa, that is so nice. And there's also the base map. But I like the live side. The live satellite, I mean, come on. You get to see a day or, day or night views. and I could have sworn you could change this to decimal degree. They might have removed that feature. If they did, I understand. It's not exactly necessary. Is there anywhere else? I remember you could change this, but I guess they removed it. But that's a, that's okay, because that's not the primary function of this. Like I said, you can still get the decimal degrees up here. And the uh, the further I zoom in, if I can zoom in right on Dallas here, you'll notice that the numbers increase. So if you want to get like a higher resolution, the further zoomed in you go, the more resolution you get, which you can punch into a Garmin 
or Google Maps, mobile, or your app of choice, uh, navigation app of choice on your phone. So if I get right in here on uh, I-635, yeah, that's the high, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six numbers after the decimal, which is fine, which is fine. You can actually get away with just five, as I've said in other videos. And you'll notice every time I move the crosshair, this the address changes up here because that is the coordinate it's directly centered on at the moment. So anyway, there you go. So you've got Google Maps, satellite imagery. If it's not cutting the mustard, you need something a little more current, run over the Bing Maps. Or if you want something with super tools, head over to zoom.earth because that's the coolest one of the bunch.